everybody. Welcome back to Diamond Painting with Eskies. Fluff is trying to figure out how to get up on the bed with this in the way, so don't be surprised. Okay, so we are here for a post review of this lovely little water watercolor painted horse. I can't talk today, obviously. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the temperatures here in Phoenix have a lot to do with that. So, let's talk about this painting. I have had some very nice long conversations with the owner of this shop. She is a very sweet lady. Very, very sweet. I like her a lot. She asked me a lot of questions about what would I change about the size of her paintings versus the size of her canvas. Did I like the glue? Did I get enough diamonds? Everything. She wanted to know everything that I thought of this painting. So, huge respect for her. Huge respect. She cares about what her customers want. Also, she herself is a diamond painter. So, that being said, that tells us a lot about the kind of store owner that we're dealing with. She knows that she has one issue with the company that manufactures these for her. And that is that when they said 30 by 40, they were talking full canvas area. And she wanted it to be full pasting area or drill area, depending on what you want to call it. So she is looking at revamping that for her store. Because the 30 by 40 is not the pasting area. However, the image is exceptionally clear, even up close for this size painting. So let's check the measurement real quick and we'll go from there. So the pasting area turned out to be exactly 24. Sorry about the clicking folks, that is the way this thing works. By, as we flatten it out, just shy of 34. Okay? So, on that level, she is looking at revamping it, but it would cost her quite a bit to do it, and she asked me if it would be worth continuing with this company. I absolutely have got to say yes for one specific reason. The leftover diamonds. I did not even come close to running out of any color. Look at this. I think that they sent me about 40% more of every single color than what was required for this painting. I really honestly do. I mean, this is crazy. This is awesome. Absolutely wonderful. Look at all that. No low numbers on the diamonds at all. Not even close to running out. Some of them, I think that they sent me double what were required. So, yes, this is already kitted down. So, I worked this in a very different way than I normally do because it's very small. It never went into containers. I worked it extreme cross-country, which means I would pick a color and do the entire painting with that color. And I never, ever do that. But, this is a small painting and I knew I could pull it off. So, oh, I got something in the adhesive, but that'll be out of the way once it's framed up. It's not going in a frame frame. We're going to do something kind of cool with this. But it will be after I finish some more diamond paintings. The adhesive, extremely sticky even now. Not a whole bunch out on the edge. The worst that I got of excess glue was on this side. And you can see it only comes to there. So about a quarter of an inch. The rest of it was approximately an eighth of an inch around. Not bad at all. <clears throat> the colors are vibrant. The painting had one single symbol. One that required a light pad for me. Keep in mind, I'm 49 and a little nearsighted. So that could have something to do with it. But I think it was because it was a dark symbol with dark lettering on it. And I did let her know about that. That she needs to tell them to fix that. So, I have to absolutely give this five full stars. I had all of, count this, 
you're going to freak. For this painting, 18 drills that I couldn't use. 18. That's it. And it was because they had excess plastic out around them. And four of those were jumpers. They were a different color that didn't belong in there. So, in all honesty, you're looking at 14 drills that were unusable. And I didn't find any more unusable drills in the bags as I was kidding down as I moved on. This is a beautiful painting. It is a nice mixture of confetti and color blocking. I absolutely would recommend this wholeheartedly. If you look in my unboxing for this, you will see the information to this painting. Her store is an Amazon store and this was on Prime for $12.69. I'm going to cover up some of the information on here because I don't know that she wants me to give out that coupon code, but I will ask for the next one that I do with her. But this is the name of her store on Amazon. I absolutely, undoubtedly will order from her again. And I'm very, very pleased with this painting as I was working on it and in the end result. So I will be sealing this one because I needed a small one to work with sealing, and I'm certainly not going to do that on a DAC. So we will be ordering sealant for this, because it's not going to be behind glass. It's going to be exposed to dust, puppy hair, and general oxygen. So, <laughs> yeah. Arizona is a very dusty place. But I want to move this so that you can see the entire image. It is a lovely, lovely image. And I am super pleased with this piece. So please, I recommend that you go over there. You check her out. She is, again, looking at using a different manufacturer as soon as she can. But she's got quite a bit of stock she's got to deal with first. Um, and when another painting of hers that was the one I wanted in the first place, but I'm glad I got this one to start with, comes back in, I will be doing that as well. So we will get two different paintings from her to make sure that everything is awesome. This one is listed, if you have trouble finding her under VKK Goods store name, then look under Show Bigger, which you can see right here. And you can find it that way. So definitely recommend this completely. It is an awesome painting. Tons of extra diamonds, almost no trash. The adhesive was great, and only one symbol required a light pad for a half-blind old lady. So, <laughs> definitely, definitely, if you like Amazon for some of your smaller diamond paintings, please check her out. She's really amazing, and really a diamond painter that cares. On that note, I'm going to go, because now that this is done, I can get back to my custom of Snowy and Frosty, and I only have three large section, large strips left to go, and then it's done. So, the entire top strip and half of the next strip down. That's all I have left to go on it, and I really want to get it done and enjoy it. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you, as always. Again, love this image. Love it, sweetheart, when you see this video. If you do, thank you for involving me in this and for asking me so many questions from a diamond painter's perspective, not just your own. I appreciate that a lot, and I really enjoyed this. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you, as always. I hope that you have a wonderful week. I'm hoping to have a nice, peaceful, calm day, praying my son has no seizures, and the puppies have a good day, too, because 4th of July around here is not a fun event. Um, but I will talk to you in the next one, which hopefully I will feel good enough to do a whip and chat while I'm working on Snowy and Frosty. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.